Okay. So, um, since, um, since I just can't stream for no really good reason, because OBS just it doesn't really want to work with me here, uh, I'm going to be recording this, uh, Nintendo Direct. Excuse that image of Mario. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. This is very good already. Yeah. This is Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ha -ha. Hey, hey. Ha -ha. That was very good. In Super Mario Maker 2, you can create the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And play courses created by other people from around the globe. In other words, you can basically have new Super Mario courses to enjoy every day. Now, Whoa, let's jump trees. right into the basics. So this is just the biggest one. Here we go. Lay some groundwork. Pick from iconic enemies and objects, like blocks, coins, goombas, and pipes, and place them anywhere you like. <laughs> I just... Oh, it doesn't it doesn't sing the names of the enemies or maybe it does and it's just for this blocks. because you know the, we don't and where the music pipes is should take Mario next and that's just the tip of the goal pole you can hide enemies stack them up high and biggen them with a super mushroom. Hide coins in pipes, and so much more. By combining a variety of parts, you can do some incredible things. Stuff that isn't even possible in regular Super Mario games. Taking a course you're working on for a test drive is a snap, allowing for rapid fire experimentation. You can change the course theme, whether it's underground, underwater, Castle, your choice. Even the game style itself can be altered oh, with the options there. like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. Full screen this. Probably a good idea. Complete a course, and if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can share it with other players online. Super Mario courses are meant to be played, so share yours Ooh, with falling the icicles. Time to showcase some of this game's new tools, course parts, and features. Just pick a direction and set the length to create a slope. It's a beautiful thing, huh? Gentler slopes are an option, too. Yes. Everyone's greatest fear, Angry Sun, is here. <laughs> it holds a perpetual grudge, following an attacking Mario. Remember the snake block? You can determine its trajectory by It would have been drawing. so funny if it just said, remember the and snake block, the blue and it just went really to the next fast. one. Hit an on-off switch, and the red and blue blocks will swap. I really like You'd that. You'd be surprised how many uses there are. That's going to have so wisely. many uses. You can set up traps like this one, or even create a situation like this. Oh my god, that's like a Kirby puzzle. <laughs> change tracks. Oh, yes. Or make conveyor belts change directions. Oh, th th that is an underrated saws tilt left addition, to, right to be under honest. Mario's weight. That's going to be so good. The They're a switch. perfect fit for risky, tilt-centric courses like this one. Let it grab you, build momentum, then jump. Oh! Mario can even use these to send himself flying. So huh. it's that you could even make a crane game. But so it's essentially like a In this course rope theme, swing. You can freely set the water level. Maybe half the course should be underwater, or maybe the water level should change over time. You can select from three different speeds. And water isn't the only thing you can flood a course with. Ooh. This side scroller is truly customizable, right down to the scrolling itself. In a custom scroll course, you can decide where you want the scroll to start, adjust its trajectory, and set the speed at each point. The result is nice and smooth while you're playing. You could have it go up here, then go sideways. Hey, Ooh. that's fast. You can now create vertical sub areas. Oh, but they're only sub. Of course, the auto scroll feature operates vertically in here. 
Hmm. To hide an area from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line of blocks perpendicular to the scroll direction. And voila! Oh my Secret god, room. that! Oh! Outside bill looks like it's coming from Mario. I'm very hyped for, th for that. You can select from the four also, cardinal I'm, directions. Also, this was needed. The red ones in, have a homing function. In, Watch um, out. In Mario Maker 1, they should have had that. Even lava doesn't phase oh. the dry bone shell. Ooh. Play dead for a sec, and you'll be temporarily <gasps> invisible. That's just a strip new power-up, and it's worth. awesome. Yep. Ten coins. That's a really fucking cool power-up. But also, areas. the thing with Ten just drawing players. a straight line to make it so that it doesn't scroll. Oh my god, because in the old Mario Maker, whenever I don't want someone coins. to be able to see that far, I would just, just put so Mario many blocks just so that you can't along, see farther through the course. Oh, there shit. are a bunch in Super Mario Maker 2. Stick one on an enemy, or perhaps go uh. with something more sinister. Ooh. I like Pass e. a Joy-Con controller to a friend, and you can create a course together on a single screen. That's so good. A little creative collaboration goes a long way. I really way. like that. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the dry bones. Ooh! Reach the goal as Super Mario. Oh my god, objectives! That's so necessary. To choose from. Clear conditions. Oh my god. From enemies to allies you needed to that. Items, a twister will suck up anything. Oh, twister, I like you. Unsuspecting passersby will fall victim to the icicle. Hey, conveyor belts can go diagonal too. Did you know Red Yoshi's breed fire? Parachutes slow down the falling speed of anything attached to them. Watch oh. out for Boom Boom. The, the mad lad will chase her. after you, swinging his arms and legs. <laughs> Look at him go. And there's still more to discover. If you're not sure how to use something, try out story mode. There's a story mode? In story mode, Mario sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. And to do so, he'll face an entire game's worth of courses in search of coins. Talk to the taskmaster to accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated Oh yeah, because I remember that in the original they had like staff made levels that you could play in like a, a set. Cheap. There are more than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in story mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. As you play, you'll see many examples of expert course design. As the castle's reconstruction progresses, Mario will be able to reach more areas in and around the construction site. The characters oh. in areas uh. will up additional jobs. New sequel, new course themes. Desert. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Snow. Th this music is new. Or maybe it's Forest. a remix. And sky. That sounds new. There's new music, too. Written by veteran Super Mario composer. Okay, yeah, new music. Who Could else could capture the classic sound of the Super Mario series? <laughs> We've yeah. also got a new course Speak. part that makes these course themes even more fun. The moon. Huh? Tap this icon here and day becomes night. If you hit the angry sun, oh. Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. At night, expect a surprise or two, depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. Oh, that's what this background was. The underground will turn upside down. In a ghost house, the lights will dim. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. Oh the desert God. will get hit by a sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become really slippery, and the forest's usually pleasant waters will be as poisonous as they come. Rumor has it that some items will even transform into something else come nightfall. Oh. Once you've unlocked the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. Unlock. The Super Mario 3D you have to unlock game stuff in story is mode. Available. The way this game style works is very different from the other game styles, so the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style. So a game explain was right. You can't mention Super Mario 3D World without Cat Mario. Climbing walls, scratching, sliding, pouncing, 
With all these moves at your disposal, the courses you create will instantly stand apart from courses made in the other game styles. You can even climb up the goal pole. These clear pipes can be placed in any shape you like. So you can only place them, you can only use them in this style? Be careful, though. Enemies will make use of them as Aww. well. Crates float on water and lava, so you can make your own path when there's no platform That's pretty to walk cool. on. That's really, really cool. Oh, okay, they're just in lava, you know, that's okay. If you come in contact with a warp box, you won't be able to escape its pull. You may get warped to an area full of enemies. Consider yourself warned. <laughs> he fucking Better died. Better not touch the spike block. You could combine it with the on-off switch to set traps like this one, too. The exclamation mark block extends when hit. Ground pound to expand it faster. <laughs> Blinking blocks phase in and out. Ooh, the beep beep galaxy or whatever it is. Make sure to carefully time those jumps. The track block will follow any path you draw. That's very nice. The blue one won't move until you step on it. The mushroom trampoline yields a satisfying bounce. So does everything they're showing the here only um, 3D world you though? Draw. Watch out for its spiky stem. Skip Squeaks like to try and match Mario's jumps. Sometimes you can use that oh. to your advantage. Oh, that I like. This That's some curvy ass puzzle. Tear through the course. Just try not to crash it. Said something about the right Famicom. Now. Also, that's fucking awesome. Oh my god, that you car! The Lord of Lava, Charbar. Oh. This monster's obsessed with gobbling up Mario. Pom Pom smoke bombs onto the scene. This ninja's mastered the art of a doppelganger. Uh, which one's the real one? The Bonsai Bill from Super Mario 3D World can actually fly toward the screen. It's so powerful, it can break through walls. Many other familiar faces from Super Mario 3D World will liven up this game style as well. You can have them catified? The, the Bonsai Bills? I, I, I totally see Cat Bowser, but... Course World is an online hub where players from around the world can share their carefully crafted courses. Browse by popular courses. Or new courses. Or run a search to find what you're looking for. That's for so example, helpful. Search by tags like puzzle solving. Oh my god, thank you for making finding good Maybe levels online easier. Jesus courses. Christ, that was the worst thing about Mario Maker 1. You can never find good levels. Play a course, and you can leave a comment if they're enabled. <laughs> If you download a course, oh you my can God. play it any time. I, I, I gotta like go back. The there was all that other stuff that I was screaming about. In Course World, each this, player has a is, maker profile. This seems to be such an improvement in every way that the like last courses, game was lacking. This seems to be points, making up for it. So far, the worst thing about this game it? seems to be Customize the 3D world. Like all the hats all, that you unlock, like I like them just hovering. Objectives. All the exclusive, all the, the stuff that's exclusive to 3D world. I don't like that. I understand some stuff being exclusive because the last game had some stuff that was exclusive to certain styles, but like, seems like almost everything is exclusive in that one. Impressive scores, and you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. On top of that, there's a new mode in Super Mario Maker 2 that'll let you play together with others. Oh. In Course <gasps> World, you can enjoy multiplayer with other players from around the world. Yes. In multiplayer versus mode, up to four players face off in a side-scrolling showdown. Each player will be assigned a different character. Then they'll race each other in a randomly selected course. Ooh, I like that. The player who clears the course first wins. Depending on your win-loss cool. ratio, your versus rating will change. Playing it safe is no way to win in a white-knuckle course like this one. Watch the others eat your dust as you escape an extreme obstacle. What an obstacle. But when a boss comes around, you may want to put your differences aside. Maybe you can get away with sitting back and stealing all the credit at the end. During <laughs> multiplayer, there are strategies to consider that would never come up during solo play. 
<laughs> they literally hey this is i mean hey 3d world, world is a big inspiration in this game obviously <laughs> aggressive dis not cooperation a winner. if up to four players are hanging out together and each has a nintendo switch system and the super mario maker 2 game one can set up a virtual room for the others to join via nearby play only the player who makes the room needs a persistent internet connection for everyone that's to very play. good you won't be rated in this mode but you can check out the standings wait hang on you need By an internet way, connection to play locally play in mind, consider using the multiplayer versus tag is that it's a true good way to help players who love to battle it out find what you've made also that's very nice oh, i really like this uh oh why is it frozen oh no oh no Oh no. Get out of here. Oh wait. That's what I'm recording with. Forgot about that. <laughs> New parts. Oh, New uh, that was that was a fly. New modes. And lots of new ways to have fun. Oh no. Come on, no, 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 no. Super Mario okay. Maker 2 will come down the pipe on June 28th. If you're interested in pre-purchasing Super Mario Maker 2, we've got a couple promotions for you to consider. Oh. First, there's the Super Mario Maker 2 plus Nintendo Switch Online Bundle, that. which is available as both a physical and digital release, and includes a 12-month individual membership for Nintendo Switch Online. If you're already a Nintendo Switch Online member, these 12 months will stack on your current membership. Second, if you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, there's a way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount that's exclusive to members. The Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers Special Offer. Paid Nintendo Switch Online members can buy a pair of Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers for just $99.99. Each voucher can be redeemed for an eligible digital game. Choose from some of your favorite Nintendo Switch titles. For example, redeem one voucher to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 and use the other to download Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It, and you save $19.99 from the combined suggested retail price for this pair of games. This special offer is a great way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount and get a discounted game to play while you wait for its release. For more Aww. information about this special that offer, That seems like a very exclusively good deal only if you have two have games that you definitely time. want to get and that, and that would, it would online save money can buy and based Nintendo on the price Switch of each game. game. Via Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch, as well as the game store on Nintendo.com with a PC or smart device. Because, yeah, most oh, games and are. One more thing, we're pleased to announce the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019 Tournament. Oh. Tune in for exciting live competitive gameplay on June 8th. Competitive more more Mario info, Maker! Visit e3.nintendo.com. Oh. So that's it. When it, I forget when the when the game comes out. I forgot. Um, yeah, that stream didn't work. Uh, Mario Maker to release. Yeah. Okay, but what's the date? I know they said it. I know they did say it in another direct. Twenty eighth. Okay. Can I go back and look at before stuff? Am I able to do that? Yes, I am. It seems. All right, so I want to go back a little bit. Regular Super Mario. how many uses there are. So, so use them this I think is going to be one of the most used things because there's so much you can do with, by being able to just toggle the physicality of blocks. There's so much you can do with that, and like, I'm just thinking about all the things in the first game, how people would use certain mechanics and items. To basically make things like, oh, a door you can't go in. Like, oh, you can't complete the objective until you beat all the enemies. Because you need to get, like, the Goomba shoes. So you can get over the spikes that block you from the thing. So now they, like, made it so that you can do, like, clear conditions. So, like, the, all the things that you had to kind of makeshift in the first game. The red ones they're, um... They're basically just saying, hey, you can just do that legit now. I want to know what this is. This looks weird. It might just be a semi-solid platform. But it's weird. Um, the other negative, there's two negatives, only two negatives I can see. 
The one is the fact that so many things are exclusive to uh, 3D worlds, and the other is that it seems like only the sub areas can be vertical like this. And I mean, that's still a great thing. We I've always wanted a vertical to be able to make vertical levels because I I like recreating some levels from past games, and uh, in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, all the the little or all the New Super Mario Bros. games actually, uh, the tower levels. I wanted to like be able to like make one of those, you know. Of course, the auto scroll feature. Um. The result is nice. That's a solid line of block. To hide an area from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line. That. Okay. So this was a thing with me. I'm someone who I like to not have the rest of the level be kind of spoiled when you're in like this earlier part of the level. And a lot of levels just, you know, you can't just say like, oh, I'm in this part of the level. I can see a later part. And that's also cool in a way. And I'm sure that people will like be fine with that. But I'm someone who's always just kind of bothered by that. I don't even know why. It was sort of like, like, it like bothered me like in an OCD-ish kind of way. Where I was just like, eh, no, don't look. Don't look. Don't look at me changing. Don't look at me naked. It felt like that. Um, <laughs> And so, that this is a very good thing. Uh, This scroll stop. That's a, I'm really happy about that. Um, I feel like that should have been in the first game too. Um, really happy about that. Direction. And voila, um, coming for Mario. The dry bone shell. That's so cool. Now, even lava doesn't phase the dry bone shell. Play dead for a sec, and you'll be temporarily invincible. So it's a Goomba shoe that makes you immune to lava, and you can like do a Tanuki, like turn to stone thing. So it's like, it's like the tent. It's like. It's the Tanuki suit. It the dry moon shell to the Goomba shoe is the the Tanuki suit to the raccoon leaf. Basically, that's really cool. Find hard to reach areas and tempt players. And big coins can act like star coins. Feeling charitable? Use the thirty or fifty coin. Mario may just be strolling along when a sudden sound effect. <laughs> I like how he just makes a ninja. In Super Mario Maker 2. Stick one I like these new sound effects. Or perhaps <laughs> pig. More that I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, spooky levels. I also like co-op making. Um, I obviously it's not a huge deal, but I think it's really nice. I like that. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the dry bones. Oh, that's so good. As Super Mario. That's so good. Clear conditions is such a good addition. And there are a wide range to choose from. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. I actually want to like go frame by frame here. I want to game explain this shit. Oh, you can make a don't touch the ground level. Wait, don't touch anything it looks like cuz it says without landing. Reach goal without taking damage. Uh, pick a little mushroom. Hero. From enemies to allies to items, a twister will suck up anything. Unsuspecting I like them. passersby will fall victim to the icicle. Hey, conveyor belts can go down. Slow down the fall. Oh yeah, watch the thwomp. He falls onto a parachute. For boom boom. The mad lad will chase after and boom boom just seems kind of silly. For how do you in story mode, her game's worth of courses and search the associate. Hey, it's crafted by Nintendo in story mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. Hassle's reconstruction. <laughs> story mode. By veterans. The moon, though. Even more this moon stuff. Tap this icon here, and day becomes night. If you hit the this is so sun, cool. Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. At night, expect a surprise or two, depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. The underground will turn upside down. In a ghost house, the lights will dim. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. Space. The desert will get hit by a sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become really slippery. All right, so snow and normal theme are definitely bottom tier in terms of that. Rumor has it that some items will even I don't know how to unlock it. Because it said you have to... Once you've unlocked the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. Hmm. 
the Super Mario 3D World game style is finally available. The way this game style So yeah, works this is what I don't like though. Other game styles. So the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style. It feels so weird then to you just have this one that is so different. Cat Mario. And it doesn't explicitly say state if everything here isn't available in others, but I'm guessing that everything it shows here isn't available in other themes, which is really unfortunate because the clear pipes are a big deal. That was one of the other things I'm really hyped for because you can do such cool things with that. That's really just that's the most disappointing thing about this is how much you're limited by that. But that also was weird because I remember the exclamation block was in was in the um super mario brothers um style in like one of the images they released or something so i don't know it, it's weird but honestly even with that there's so much good shit here the the multiplayer looks great <sighs> i'm so hyped for this i'm so hyped for this oh my god Definitely expect some videos about this on the channel. I'm oh my god the shit. I'm gonna put Trevor through <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching this. I'm sorry. I couldn't stream it, but Internet said no, so sorry <laughs> Um, I might not even edit this I might just upload this right now um, because I feel bad about not being able to stream it but um, yeah, okay Yeah, I don't really honestly. I don't really need to edit this. I don't think but yeah so, thank you for watching, and like this video if you're hyped for Mario Maker 2. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.